So guys, uh, today I'm here outside of my room and I decided to talk to you guys and I really want to talk to students. Hope you guys get time and watch this video to the end to understand what's going on in China. Let's go to this video. Look, uh, today I'm going to talk about students and we already know the, the class will start very soon. Second semester of 2021 is starting next month. Today is February 19th, then we are on vacation right now and I think we still have one week, then the class will start. So before class gets started, the question is when international students will be able to return. Then many people that was thinking that they will come in March until today, we should already have um, this information clear and that shouldn't be so unpredictable like the way it is. Then many students asking themselves if in March they will be able to return to China. And if yes, they should already buy their ticket or they should already allow them to get the visa. No, I don't think so. They should already allow them to get more details about China, about this semester, to let them know that they must be ready to come back because the borders are open or must be open because of the classes will get started very soon. But it's not it's not gonna happen, I think so. It's not gonna happen. If, uh, if the borders was about to be open in March, they should already allow people to buy ticket by now because we're in February, the end of February already. It's missing one week to finish the February. Then after February, we go to March and classes we will get started on March 1st. Then since the classes will start on March 1st, it means many students are still not able to re-enter China. So at the time I come outside, uh, I was always in my room and talk about it. And I decided today to be at the street and think about it. So this is my campus, Changsha University of Science and Technology. And I'm here. Uh, to be honest with you guys, there is no one here in this campus. Just foreign students, we, we 124 students, I think so. We 124 students in China, then I think 100 students in campus and 24 students outside of campus. So the rest of people, they went back home until today, they're not able to return back to this campus, to the school. So I was like, if uh, the board is still closed, then the class, supposed to start, the class should start in March. I mean, this month we should already have uh, the information that everybody is waiting. But if not, I hope uh, we're still patient. I hope we're still patient because September is coming very soon. It's possible. It's possible to be in September. Then if you were, if it will be in September, that will be grateful for everybody. That will be nice, very nice. So I hope they reopen the body in September because I was reading a comment of a, a lady Yesterday I just posted a work uh, stuck outside of China and a lady, she was saying she's not able to come to China even to see her sons. So two years, her sons, they live in China. I don't know if they live alone and she's not able to come to China to take care of their sons. That was like, I was thinking about it and I know like something must be done and it's taking too much time and people, they're tired of waiting. So I don't know, I don't know what's gonna do. I don't know what's gonna do. I'm just student here in Changsha University of Science and Technology. And I used to talk about borders because I feel the pain of people who left China and still not able to come to China. Someone is calling me, but now I can't pick up the phone. So you guys, students that will come in September, maybe some of you guys, I hope the government allowed students to come back in September. Then if September, the border will be open. So it's six months from now, you guys should uh, already make your budget, organize some budget because they can announce in May that students are able to come back to China, some countries or some students, then you're gonna be surprised if you don't have money. Even in March is next 
after next week will be March 1st and it's possible that they can say some students can come to China are able to come but we don't know so they already start vaccinating Beijing and per day they vaccinate 200,000 people and Beijing is a large is one of the the largest city here of population they have almost 20 million people and vaccinating 20 million people it's gonna take until the end of May so until the end of May they will vaccinate at least 80% of Beijing citizens. After they finish this or after they do that, or they already start vaccinating other province and by the end of this year, I think so, they'll finish the whole China and everybody will be allowed or able to come to China. So just talking to students because uh, it's really important to let you guys update. And I know for us that we're in China, the class will start already next week. So next week we're ready to go to the classes. And for you guys, you still need to wait maybe another six months or maybe one year. I don't know, we're not sure. So if you already know that the class will start next week, it means you have to be ready. You have to maybe manage to buy your internet. You need to buy your internet make sure that your laptop is working because the the classes will continue online for some i don't know if the class will continue being online then you have to be ready otherwise you're gonna miss this semester if you don't want to miss out it's really important to get update and get ready before they get started so buy your internet make sure your laptop is working make sure you're ready for this semester after this semester everything's gonna be fine and they're gonna maybe announce that the border are official now open so this semester is from march to september in september we will start another new academic year so a lot of things can happen during this period of six months so it's really important to always keep update with the government read the news come to this channel I don't know if uh, you are you guys are able to to see well this environment behind me I just decided to switch a little bit come outside for a new vibe a new video then it is what it is many guys frustrated depressed and some of them the demoralized and they don't know what's going on in china some of us we live in china but we we, we really don't know too because those information they don't provide for students they're not easy to get them it's not easy to get them so if you want to get more updates then watch those videos the previous videos that i used to make then is already on this channel go and check it out some link is they will be here maybe i don't know i'm not sure you can go in the go you can go there and check it out out. but actually this is a video for today so make sure you already have your materials for online classes prepared and that can avoid you miss out the classes so make sure you already get the internet your laptop is working otherwise your smartphone is working as well then get in touch with your school because next week the classes in China will get started and it's gonna be hard for us that we, we we in campus because they have less people in the class and attending class like this is really really hard you see it around there is no people and all the questions are straight to you so it's fine it's fine I'm enjoying being here I know it's sad for you that you already left then you're not able to come back but everything is gonna be fine very soon so let's keep positive and understand that uh, coronavirus is really the problem coronavirus is really the issue that is making all the countries having restrictions of open or closing the border so that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoy subscribe to this channel if you're new here and have a nice day bye